Hey guys, welcome back to your Fusion 360 wood tutorial joints. This is tutorial number four and this is on how to do a cross halving joint. Okay, let's get started. Uh, before you start, make sure that when you open your, your data panel that you're into your fold, into your project and open up your timber joint folder and you'll be storing it in here. Okay, so this is what we're doing today, this cross halving joint. I can turn one off to show you. And we've got a new one here, it's a little chamfer on the end. Right, let's get started guys. Once again, before you start, please ensure you're in ZUP, Preferences, ZUP. Now, once you save this, this should be default for, you know, for every other time you use Fusion. And make sure your default units there are in millimetres, nothing else but millimetres. First thing we're going to do guys is create a new design. So we click on the plus button here and we click Save. Make sure it's going into your project and into the folder that you created previously. We're going to call this Cross um, halving joint. Now sometimes other people want to call these different names. I am not a woodworker. Uh, bear that in mind guys, but this is what we call it over here in Australia. Click Save. Okay, we're going to click a new component here. Alright, and remember close that here and pick the parent file. That's called the parent file. Now, any file created below that is called the, ch the child of the parent. Okay, so double click here, we're going to call this Timber 1. Now, we're going to do some parameters again, okay? And you'll, you'll see that I've been doing these tutorials on Timber Joints, sometimes using parameters, sometimes without using parameters. You'll find though, once you get the hang of the parameters, it's a way quicker, it's a much better and faster uh, workflow method to get your drawings done. So click, uh, once again, I'll move you a bit fast there for you, I'll show you that again. Click drop down and modify, change parameters, Click the green plus icon there. The first thing you're going to type in is length. And the expression value here will be 300 millimetres. Enter. You can see it go in here. Click positive again. The plus symbol this is going to be width. And the width of our timber is 42. So we're using, uh, for this, we're using 42 by 19. That's dressed timber size. Uh, thickness. And that will be 19. Enter. Uh, we're going to put one more, this will be called the rebate, okay, and this will be a negative value, so it'll be negative 19 divided by 2, enter. Okay, we're going to do one more, and this will be chamfer, and our chamfer will be 10 millimetres. Alright, so we've got all those set up, uh, length, width, thickness, rebate, chamfer, hopefully I've spelled all those correctly, I was moving a bit quiet, a little bit fast there, so... <clears throat> I lost track so click create a sketch we're clicking in the ground plane and that's the plane that runs along the red which is the x-axis and coincides perpendicular with the green axis which is the y we click that we're going to go half a rectangle um, up the top here guys you want to pick center rectangle snap to the center and drag out do not terminate do not click and terminate leave it like so this will be width tab this will be length you can see length come up enter tab enter E for extrude, click that top face and this will be thickness. Okay, boom, there we have it. Okay, so now we need to click this top face again and we're going to draw one more time another rectangle. Make sure you draw a centre rectangle. Now you can see me moving around the work, uh, the work space there. I'm using my scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out or I click and hold my scroll wheel to move my sketch around. And here we go, I've got center rectangle selected. Click the center, click and snap and drag out. We're gonna go from here, width, tab, width, enter, tab, okay, enter. And you'll see 42. Remember, FX means that it's had a parameter that we've set up down here, uh, linked to it, all right? E for extrude, guys. I'm gonna view over here onto the ISO. See that when I clicked extrude, it stayed in the top view. Don't panic, it's no big deal, you can simply hold your left mouse key and orientate around or simply press the home key which brings you back to that isometric view we're clicking this top sketch profile that we did and this will be rebate all right and because i set it up as a negative value notice it straight away it cuts now before you click enter or accept or okay make sure it says cut okay click okay now once again you by using your inspect tool you can prove that you can click on that edge and it should be 9.5, remember, half of 19 is 9.5. Okay, what we can do here, guys, we can put a chamfer on now. So we're going to click Modify, Chamfer. 
we're going to pick that edge and that edge. Now, if for some reason your computer won't let you select the second edge, just remember to hold the control key and that will give you that as well. Type in chamfer and enter. Usually you've got to press the enter key twice to get that to work, okay? So and there we have it, click save. Now here's our bottom timber. Now we don't have to draw the second one. The second one is an identical copy of the bottom one. Ah, so we're going to cheat, we're going to copy and paste it. So here we go guys, we're going to right click on that, right click with your mouse, come down to copy. Come up now to the top to the parent file and activate it. Right click on the parent file and go paste new. Okay. Okay, just click OK. Now we could orientate it and move that around. I'm not going to worry about that and I'll show you this in a second. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Now, believe me, trust me, it is there and I can prove it to you. I can pull that one out. All right. Now, what we need to do here, we need to turn off the first one we created. Click the light bulb. We're going to click this bottom one and activate it. I'm going to edit that to say... Timber 2. Alright. Boom. Okay. So now, once I click on this, you watch this guys, if I activate it at a parent level, you'll see my timeline, everything appear in the timeline. If I activate this first one here, okay, only the sketches and features associated with the top one come up or, or a display to show. I activate the bottom one, that's the copy of the one I just did. And that's what I need to do. So see that? I activated that. Come down to this chamfer, right click and go edit feature. We're going to edit this because this is on the wrong side. Okay, so here we go. Watch this. Deselect. I want you to select the... I'm going to turn the, the light bulb off on timber one so it doesn't confuse you. I'm going to click the bottom one. I'm going to hold my control key and select the back one. Click OK. Now, you can see here when I turn the other one on, you can see it. So guys, what we're going to do now, we're going to do an assembly, okay? So we're going to activate it at the parent level. Okay, and this is what we're going to do. So this one upside down, we're going to select it first, okay? So I'm going to click Joint. I'm just going to click Continue. Now notice they're on top of each other. I'm going to turn the top one off. That allows me to select that one in the center there. Bang. You can see here, Component 1 is selected. I'm going to turn this one off now and turn that one on. Alrighty. And now, guys, I'm going to touch this face, I'm going to hold my control key and see how it wants to snap around the points. So I'm going to snap it to the center and click enter. Now, I've got it turned off at the moment. Now, notice when I turn it back on, it looks weird. But see this little handle here? Just grab and rotate it and rotate it to 90 degrees. Click OK. Boom, there you have it guys. And notice the chamfers are around the right way, the correct way. Click save. So once again, you need to add some um, appearance to your work. Um, you can pick, this, you know, pine or, or oak or whatever you want to pick, gloss. You can mix it up, mix and, ma mix and match it if you want to. Okay, guys, I'm going to save this now. And in your data panel now you should see these four you should see it populating up here and make sure you show your instructor or your teacher that you've completed it and uh, don't forget don't forget to add your instructor up here don't add me add your teacher if they're choosing to follow this thank you guys i'll catch you on the next video